us for so long So stuck in my own way So I'll enjoy this moment It's the day that the Lord has made So I just thought we should read the Psalm 121 together. I'm going to read it out loud. So Psalm 121 says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from, the, from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from time, from this time henceforth, even forevermore. That's the verse for tonight. And yeah, I'm just going to say a quick prayer. You call me by my name. Very last thing that I do before leaving the house is using friends and using this Kelvin Klein to you. Um, for her, this fragrance is so mild. And I'm using this body mist. I was supposed to actually use it on my body, but I forgot. So we're just going to be like that. And the fragrances that I'm using are very, very mild. They are very, very Christian friendly, especially those have passed on so yeah and i think I wanna go to Cali way, close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here. I cancel plans with you to be with sin and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you leave for me. God, just tell me what you need for me. Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity. Even though you told me already. God told me I'm so I clocked in just in time to get changed and just head to the station immediately. And I'll be ready for the handlebar. I'm so excited. I'm excited to be at work. That is like an overstatement. And yeah. I'm just gonna change into my scrubs right now. ASAP and oh my god, the weather was so disgusting, y'all. It was so wet outside and I wore like this white pants. I instantly regretted it. So I'm just gonna change real quick and head out. Literally 12 a.m. right now. I'm just gonna go 
through my first round to check if the patients are okay, if they need anything, and also I'm going to administer the um, antibiotics for 12 a.m. Um, it's just the routine here in my station, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. I already got them prepared, and then yeah i'm done also preparing the medications for tomorrow um i noticed that i've become faster um with time preparing stuff and administering stuff i remember when i started out newly last year it was very very hectic i would be so slow and stuff but now preparing and administering uh, medications um has literally gotten better so I also have my own routine which I like plan in my head. I remember when I was a student, this routine I usually write them out, but right now I just have them in my head. Right. Sometimes the routine is not always, you know, the way you plan it in your head, um, because emergency can just come up at any time, and then your routine is just like mixed up and messed up at the same time. So like. The past nights have been very chilled. I have never heard such a chill in the longest of time. If I had a lot of time to like read the book, I started reading. And talking about that book, I read that book like a long time ago and then I stopped reading it because I got so busy with my last in my finals. And then I left the book and then coming back to read, I didn't remember where I stopped. I just started from the beginning again and so refreshing i felt like i've never read the book before and yeah so i just started from the beginning and it's so good i recommend it i recommend it the book was all actually recommended by my friend sylvia she was like it's so good read it and then i read it i'm so in love so like i just noticed that i'm very energized in getting work like really done really fast it's not because that i have my routine in my head like i said the last time but it's just because i am done with my period and i am in this follicular phase where i am super energized i can literally do the work of three people <laughs> that's where i am at my best and i do not have a lot to do the patients are doing fine they're all sleeping and having their rest um while i just um i'm just going to educate myself i'm gonna read the book that i brought and um read some stuff about the patients especially the ones that i do not know it's been like it's been a while i had um an early shift so i do not know them from the day i only know them at night and literally they are asleep so i'm not literally con communicating with them so there is like no connection so what i do is just read about the doc i mean i just read about them um, in the documentation system and just get to know them better um, so that is what I'm going to do at this time and in the next one hour I'll go around checking your blood sugar and yeah and then um, I have like this time and do my second round and then have a period of time where I also will um, have to order some medication for the patients and um, use the rest of the time to also self-educate if it makes sense while well, I'll wait for dawn. <laughs> recall that I read the song 121 while I was about to leave the house just to say a short prayer and then um, I was reading this book called Cap Captivating um, this one right here it is called um, unveiling the mystery of a woman's soul 
it's just like the best book ever a friend i think i mentioned this before a friend recommended it to me i started reading it and it was during my final so i left it and yeah i told you guys about that and then um i just stumbled on that same chapter of the bible that i read while living the house took my camera immediately i was like i need to show you guys this so i just recorded it and i'm, and I'm like is that a coincidence because it was just thrilled <laughs> and yeah that's my call i need to take it there's no end to what god can do Put on my camera so guys it's about time that i get something to eat because i'm so hungry if not i'm just gonna fall asleep i don't know is it just me or do you guys like fall asleep when you're hungry but my sister is like no if you're hungry you stay awake like you're not able to sleep that's when i get the most sleep if that makes sense <laughs> just gonna have a quick what should i call this midnight snack midnight breakfast i'm just gonna have like a toast because yo we are trying to cut down on calories and i have no other option right now but to have a toast and a cream and a jam that works well for one night <laughs> look at that tastes so good mm. It's not all the time that I have a time to sit down and actually like eat something. But today I have by like, the time all my patients are all calm and having their rest, like I said. So I'm just seizing the opportunity to just get something to eat. And when I get home, I'll just fall asleep immediately and don't have to bother to have breakfast. So it's currently 3 a.m. I'll be done like in four hours. I'm super excited. I can't wait. I'm so tired already. It's 5 a.m. I'll just do my last round right now to check up on the patient before I start preparing the um, antibiotics for 8 a.m. And yeah, and that will practically be the last thing that I do. And um, I'll just be waiting for the early shifters to come in and then I'll do my handover for 30 minutes and then head home. So this vlog might be a little bit longer. I might kind of take you guys through my day when i have a night shift how many hours of sleep i get and the kind of the things that i you know get to do during the daytime before actually going to another night shift Guys, I have literally clocked out from work and I did my report so fast because I didn't want to spend one minute again at the hospital. <laughs> I was, I'm so tired and I have a lot to do so the earlier I get home to get some sleep the better for me and the more sleep I'm gonna get. Um, so it is currently, let's say it's the time. 7.59 no what am I saying it is currently 6.59 so like I'm just done 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 I need to get to the pharmacy to get some stuff for my dad because he caught a cold and it's so bad so I'm just gonna get him that that's one of the things I'm gonna do today and when I get home, get some sleep, wake up, I'll tell you the other stuff that I have to do today and take you guys along with me. I 
I just got home. I was tired, super exhausted. And I got to the store and I got some thing to like have breakfast with. I've been eating a lot. I'm just going to have one of these and then go to bed immediately. I'm so exhausted. So I went to. I took a detour while I was coming back home to the pharmacy to get some drugs for my dad, but they're not open till 9.30, 10. Oh my God, I look terrible. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I just woke up and it's currently 10 minutes to two or five minutes to two. <laughs> and I look terrible and my sister look worse. Look at her sicky sicky ass. I'm going to the I'm going to the back, back. Has come back. Uh, she come back. I'll show you. And you're fine, even though you're sick. It, it show me my face. You see how you that bring it up from. <laughs> so like literally, hey. I'm going to the lady at me call you did anyone. Ah, maybe call you did. Oh man, wait on that Sunday. And this is my hero. Take me every day. Bro, I can meet this and what I feel you I can meet you right now. I'll talk, we'll talk about it later. Okay, so like, I lost the point that I wanted to make. Let's just go. I'm done with dinner and everybody's had dinner everything is put in place and the one thing I want to do I want to send an email real quick for my dad and then the next thing I'll be doing afterwards is to complete my application okay it's been roughly four months since I since I finished um, nursing college and right now I am applying to uh, become a, what's it called a praxis instructor and I don't know I just have this feeling of having to put people through something you know having to transfer knowledge to other people you know experiences and having to see them also blossom and flourish in that field so I noticed that immediately after I have finished nursing college and started working um, legally as a nurse I found out that I was I was trying to I was putting other students through stuff and showing them things and I didn't even know I was doing this you know and I, I it was so fun it was so so fun so other people noticed um i remember um a colleague of mine that is also a practice instructor noticed this that i like taking the students along with me and showing them stuff putting them through so she was like um just become a practice in instructor i mean we do not have a lot in our station i was like i just graduated and normally the rules are you're supposed to work for about two to three years before you can legally apply for it but she's like, hey, we it's like an emergency. We need a lot of praxis instructors since we do not have a lot. And she saw that I have interest in it and I'm showing it. And I'm, um, I, I didn't even realize it myself. And it's so fun. And uh, she was like, okay, you should do this. And this is what came to my mind. So I, I started thinking about it. I was like, God, you do talk to me like in different ways. You talk to me using my thoughts using people that i know around me and it was just literally god talking through this colleague of mine so i was like okay i'll think about it so i thought about it for like a few days and then i went back and then i told her okay i'm interested so what are the procedures and she's like okay these are the procedures so right now 
I started writing my application yesterday and I'm almost done. I just have to um, go through one or two stuff to perfect it and then submit it with my CV and that will be it and then I can start um, learning on how to become a Praxis instructor. I am so, so excited for what God has for me in this new chapter. So if you see me studying and studying, I'm trying to like perfect my knowledge now because this knowledge, um, I have to pass it on to other people and I do not want to, you know, pass out false knowledge to those young ones and to um, the future nurses. So I am going to try as much as possible to always keep my knowledge to um, up to date. But yeah, I'll be doing a lot of learning and studying and making myself um, ready and um, to be able to carry this new course that God has placed in my heart. And the verse that I read at the beginning of this video, when I was about to say my prayer, Psalm 1 to 1, um, I look up to the hill for whence coming my help, my help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. So my help is coming from the Lord God Almighty. He has placed this in my heart and I am going to do it wholeheartedly. And I know that he will not place something in my hands that he has not, gave, he has not given me the ability or the capability to handle so that is what i believe and i'm super 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 excited for this new phase and i just thought to share that with you guys in this video i don't know how long this um, course is going to take i think a year or two so i'm going to become a praxis instructor oh my god i, I can't wait literally so like i'm living it out every day so when i finally become one it's going to be wild and crazy i'm so excited but yeah that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you guys in my next video bye bye bye
Someone told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone No, I'm a child of God